Hello, my name is Rakutsko, and uh, welcome to Cooking with Rakutsko, where I, Rakutsko, cooks food for you. Regardless, sit on back while I teach you the food of my people, the food of my family, the food of my forefathers. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Welcome to cooking with me. I'm gonna cook you food. Well, no, I will cook me food. Fuck you, you cook your own food. I cook me food. You cook you food. You follow recipe, we get through this together. Let's go ahead and start the video. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, you wanna get yourself a pretty decent sized pan. Nothing too difficult. Then you're gonna wanna take some pan to make sure, spray. Boom, boom. Awesome. Cool. Don't have to worry about shit sticking to the pan. I'm gonna bring you over here. Give me a second. All right, easy peasy. Thing you're gonna do is put that bowl off to the side. This is what I got. I got chorizo. If you don't know what chorizo is, it's pretty great. Then you get these eggs. These are pretty decent eggs. I love eggs. Tasty! And uh, you don't have to do this, but I do this because it's easier on myself. I'm just gonna scramble them right here. I know it's dirty in another dish, but whatever. It's totally fine. I just dropped a fucking egg shot in there. I take a fork and I just kind of like mix it all around. Not really a big deal. All right, since this is already like good to go, I'm just gonna go ahead and have it turn on the heat. I usually turn on the heat to like five, six, depending on what kind of stove you have. If you have this kind of stove, I usually turn it on to like, I don't know. I usually turn it on there. Um, Since I only did four, I'm only gonna put a little bit of chorizo in there because you don't need that much. This stuff comes in like a really big tube but it looks like this. I'm pretty much just gonna use like a little, like, I don't know, it's like a quarter size basically of what that whole package was. But you just, you know, cut it in half, open it like this, and pretty much just squeeze it out into the pan. I'm gonna immediately pour this in because this is gonna start heating up. And it really, really sucks when this stuff starts to like, when it starts to cook in the pan by itself. Cause like I said, it makes a huge mess. So there is more to this. It's not entirely just like putting the eggs and this in here all by itself. I may have put the eggs in a little bit earlier, but that's okay, not a big deal. So once you start kind of seeing it cooking on the sides and stuff like that, you can start pretty much mixing it together. I always make, I'm such a bad freaking cook. Like, no matter what, any single time that I freaking make food, I make a mess on my stove and then I have to clean my stove, but that's fine, because I clean my stove right away. Most of the time. I'm not gonna say that I do it all the time, because that would be lying, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's gonna start looking really, really disgusting. Don't worry about that, it tastes way better than it looks. And for some of you, you might know exactly what this is and what I'm making. I grew up in Arizona, so it's kind of one of those things where, you know, we we had a big family, you know, I had two brothers, you know, my sister, and then I'm the youngest, and then of course we would always have friends over, and a lot of times my mom would make a ton and ton of food. Mexican food usually tends to be, you know, pretty big portions, so this was kind of just stuff that we grew up with. Um, we grew up with a lot of like enchiladas, uh, tamales. Anytime that my mom made something like really, really big, uh, she'd shove it in the fridge and we'd be able to take it out of the fridge later on. We'd have like like pans and pans worth that would last us for like a week, maybe more, something like that, you know what I mean? So we'd be able to go and like have it for like lunch or you know, if, if my mom didn't want to cook for dinner, then we'd just have it for dinner and stuff like that too. So. What we would do is we would take those tamales out of the fridge and we would just heat them back up inside of the microwave and then we would like pour Tabasco all over them and oh, they were so good. Mm, listen to that sizzle. It's looking really, really good. It looks so freaking tasty and it smells and sounds awesome. But we're gonna go into the fridge real quick. Don't worry about my mess in the fridge. I have some food, we're gonna need this. My uh, landlord actually gave me those. Uh, I live above a coffee shop, and these are actually really, really good, and they're awesome snacks. So thank you for that. Yeah. All right. So this is what we need. 
we're gonna need that. These are tortillas. So, what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna place them onto the stove. If you've ever done this, don't worry, it's not a problem. All right, so if you've never done this before, then don't worry, this is completely normal. I swear to you, this is as normal as possible. I'm gonna grab a plate over here real quick. Uh, you just kinda do this. This is like, <laughs> this is stuff we grew up with. A lot of the times we would end up, um, we would end up like doing this like without any kind of like meat or anything. Uh, my brothers and I, and, and my sister as well, um, we would get these uh, tortillas because we would always have tortillas in the house. Um, like, even if we weren't having like any type of Mexican food at the time. Don't worry about the smoke, the smoke is totally normal. All right, so I'm bringing you right here. Cool beans, all right, so. We would, we would take tortillas and we would do this over on the stove there and we would end up like, we would end up just putting like butter all over this and then rolling it up and eating it like that. It's really, really good. If you've never tried that before, try it. It's incredible. I promise you, you will probably love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this. And yes, if you guessed this right, congratulations, it's not, not too crazy of a guess. You're basically gonna take this and you're gonna, you're just gonna make a freaking tortilla thing out of it. It's insanely delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of that in there. Don't wanna waste any of this precious gold. All right, I mean, and there you have it. It's, it's decent. It's freaking delicious looking and it also tastes delicious. So, I'm gonna go and eat this. All right, so hopefully you guys weren't expecting anything too crazy. These things are like my childhood right here. My mom made this for us a lot cause like this was like one of our favorite things to eat when we were growing up. Um, and it still is to this day. I mean, you can add a bunch of other stuff into this if you want. Um, I know quite a bit of people probably add like bell peppers and stuff like that. It's very traditional to add into this kind of food, uh, bell peppers, any kind of like jalapenos if you want some spice. Um, I, don't, I don't really know. I I never add anything into these because I just like the I just like it as it is. It's usually how I end up having my tacos too. If I'm ever eating like a taco, I'll eat it inside of a freaking soft tortilla, and you know I'll I'll put like cheese in it and then I'll put a crap ton of hot sauce on it. But other than that, I don't really like vegetables in my food too much. I know that's bad for me, but you know it is what it is. But Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope it was decent enough. I can't say that I'm like a professional cook or anything like that, but I tried to make it uh, as cool as possible. So hopefully you got something out of it and hopefully you try it yourself. If you guys try it, please do let me know down in the comments below or just message me somewhere. It doesn't even matter. Or like share a picture on Instagram and like send it to me or something. Cause like this is really, really good. So if you do get the chance to try it, please do let me know. I would love to know what you think about it. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start eating because I'm starving. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.